When I said, give John Cena more work, this was not what I had in mind. When I say, wow, I miss Christian Slater, give him more work, this is not what I had in mind. And I got to win. What? And today we have Freelance. This was a um, regal mystery movie. So like once or twice a month now they do mystery movies. And after seeing as many as I've seen, I can safely say that they are very much hit or miss. We went out to see it and they're like, oh, it's going to be an R-rated one. And we're like, oh, oh, is it going to be the holdovers? No. Oh, is it going to be that new Thanksgiving horror movie? No. Also too far out. What's it going to be? Uh, a, a borderline romantic comedy action movie starring ex-wrestler John Cena? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a movie that I never even saw the trailer for. I just remember I, I was scrolling through Regal's uh, coming soon feed and remember seeing the name and a picture of him and, and I think a friend of mine mentioned it and that's literally all the context I had for this film. But Freelance is a film that exists. We saw it early. I don't even know. When, when does it come out? <laughs> October 27th. We saw it hella early. <laughs> yeah, Freelance. It's a movie. <laughs> Let's, all right. Give it its day in court real quick. Who made this thing? Here's what's wild. Freelance is made by uh, Pierre Morel. This is the guy who brought us... Uh, this, he's the director of Taken back in the day. I really enjoyed Taken. Taken's a classic. He directed Taken way back when. More recent thing you might have heard about, just because it was just one of the leads had changed his appearance so drastically. Uh, From Paris with Love. I never watched it, but John Travolta was bald and had a goatee in it, and people were like, whoa. I don't know, man. I feel like he's fallen off now. <laughs> I don't know if he's done the, the other Taken movies, but if that's any metric to go by, I don't know. Hopefully he didn't do that. They just leave it the first Taken cast i mean i already went over it right john cena's in it i've covered him before but most recently you'd probably know john cena from his roles as a peacemaker in both the suicide squad and the peacemaker hbo uh, original series which both are great he's great in them i think that whenever he's given serious source material both john cena and dave bautista not the rock so much anymore but bautista and cena they're both like great actors when given the right direction and movie and material i'm all, i'm here for it it's great additionally we have allison brie she's the co-star in this uh if you were know her from anything it would be her character of annie from community freelance i didn't know what it was about and then I went into it. Freelance is a movie about John Cena is a guy who, after law school and being a lawyer, he stops being a lawyer and joins the army and then is good at that and then goes on a mission with his squad where it ends very poorly and he loses most of the squad and he gets uh, he gets hurt and then he's like, ah, I can't do that anymore and it's risky and I have a family so I'm gonna go back to being a lawyer and now he's miserable with that. He's just like, oh, my, my, my kid likes me. My, my wife, I can't tell if she does or doesn't. Neither can we when we're watching the movie. <laughs> and then he gets an offer from his old military comrade, played by Christian Slater, who's like, hey, I'm private contracting. Come do this easy uh, cakewalk. Uh, here's a woman, played by Alison Brie, who's a reporter who's trying to get make her big comeback. And she's going to go interview this dictator in the dangerous country where your mission failed. She wants to, to interview the dictator that was responsible for the mission going poorly and they gotta go escort her it'll be easy but of course it ends up not being easy and, it, and then hilarious hijinks ensue the positives for this film what did i write down the positives um john cena is present in this film positive christian slater is present in this film it's a positive and that's all i put <laughs> <laughs> That's like two positive notes. This movie's not, this movie's pretty bad, man. Like, 
What's wild is that uh, it's like retribution, right? When I went to go see Retribution, me and my friends, as we're walking out, we're like, man, that was funny, but in a bad way. Retribution was ass. And we heard people, like an elderly couple being like, what a wonderful movie there, darling. Like, I saw on the like, Facebook feed on Regal, they were like, oh, we love this movie. And I was like, why? What, is it me? Yeah, am I too elitist? Can I not enjoy the simpler things anymore? Freelance is just... <laughs> The story, or lack thereof, I, for one, the story makes, I don't know, it's, there's something there, but just, it, it doesn't make much sense, his, his choices, and the fact that he just keeps on flip-flopping back and forth, like, I get it, the, the army's dangerous now, so I'm gonna go be a lawyer again, but then he's miserable doing it, and then, like, I don't know, there's the whole relationship with his wife, who's barely in it, but, like, her wife, his wife is bipolar, by the way, because she goes from being like, get your life together, you're a mess. And then as he goes and does this like private contracting job, she's on the phone with him being like, come home safe, I love you. Just, it's weird, man. His daughter's the only consistent one. The characters, I'm, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess they're fine. Like, I feel, I feel like if this had a different script and everything else, then this movie would work a lot better than it did. But this movie just, goes and I was just just bored and uh, as my friend I think so aptly put it it's not so much an amusing film it's just he, he was bemused it was a bemusing 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 film it's just a waste of talent these ah the the writing is not good these jokes are not good I think I might have like chuckled a couple times but most of the comedy is cringe it's the movie's formulaic as hell. It's, it's just awkward acting. There, I feel like, maybe we're going crazy, but we felt like there were some scenes where actors were like waiting for their cue, forgot their cue, remembered it, and then scored themselves through the rest of the scene. Like, I, I don't know, it just, things just kinda happened. There's possibly the most boring, nonsensical, like helicopter chase I've ever seen. Like, they're discovered and they're running through an open field to try to get away from it. And it's like a several minutes of just them just running just in a, in a kind of goofy way, a direct line of sight, and this chopper just can't hit them. Nobody, nobody can hit them. And this is just keep, the scene just keeps going and going and, and going. The action in this movie is just mostly lukewarm. There's moments where I was like, oh, okay, that was neat, I, I suppose. I there was like one kind of neat little choreographed fight scene toward the end of the movie on, on, on a stairwell with one of the, the villains. That was kind of fun, just watching John Cena and this guy go at it. It was clearly the most choreographed fight in the whole film. What's funny is this movie's rated R. Like, out of all the movies that came out <laughs> and I've seen in the last 60 days that could have used an R rating, the creator could have made much better use of this R rating than this one did. This one's R because there's language and because when people get shot, there's a squib going off or people explode or they like get shot in the head or something. And it's, it's just enough where they were like, well, we gotta put R on that. There's not like nudity. There's not like any wild sex scenes. Just cause when there's violence in the movie, it's violent. And then people just swear a lot. I just, it's one of those movies where it's like, I would love to go on about why it doesn't work, but it's not complete and utter terrible poo poo caca, but it's just, it just, bad and boring and hold a gun in my head maybe i'll say it's below average like but i i don't know man what can you say about this don't waste your time on this man don't don't go see it in theaters don't save it for streaming don't make it like a date night movie i mean what's wild is that there are going to be people because there are people right now who unironically enjoyed this film if you want a film that's a similar vibe and was actually good, watch The Lost City. The Lost City was a very pleasant surprise that I think I saw over a year ago at this point, but I was shocked by how good Lost City was and how much I enjoyed that. It was so much better than this and, and almost the same concept. It's, it's a shame because this director's made some good stuff in the past and maybe maybe it was just the writers, maybe that's what it was because just the writing was just, I, it's just it, was, it was writing. It was, this movie has me at a loss for words, is where I'm at with this. Don't waste your time. I'm glad this was the mystery movie and not like some big actual letdown, but uh, I've seen much better this year. I'm not I'm not gonna remember this film a year from now. It's gonna fly by. Like, I don't know, the, the, the guy, the dictator guy, he has a bit of a character arc, sure. And is he funny and charming? Sure, I guess, but I don't know. There's just a lot of things that people bring up in this film that aren't used well enough and some plot lines and subplots that don't carry through all the way and just a lot of 
He's just, he's just, he's just walking through a jungle and trying to survive. And he's like, we're, John Cena's like, we're going to get out of here. And Allison Bree's like, no, the story. And the dictator is like, oh, well, I will follow you. And eventually I will make it back to my people. And just, I don't know. I mean, there's worse movies you could watch. But like, I, I, I would rather watch Retribution again just because that movie was... It took itself super seriously and because of that was super funny this movie is trying to be a comedy and it's it's just not working <laughs> poor execution in that it's the direction the the writing especially and you can put any actor you want in front of this writing you can put daniel daniel day lewis on it it's still going to end up being not great <laughs> I'm sorry that I, I I can't be more specific. I don't I don't really want to be more specific than that. It's just don't waste your time. Don't see freelance and hopefully people will give John Cena better movies going forward. I don't know because he's a good actor. He he can he can be a good actor. He's a super fun guy. He's great. I love him. But this is just a misfire. Credit where credits due. I mean the actors are trying. Uh, there's some practical effects here and there with the stunts and the violence and the choreography. There's the bones and the base of what could have ended up being a really good film. I mean, I'm not going to give it like a zero or like a one, but I would give Freelance a, a, like a low two out of five. A low two out of five, man. That's being generous. I just, I was able to scrape some tender meat from this burned and overcooked pot roast, I guess. Like, sure. I, I, if you absolutely love John Cena, or if you just really miss seeing Christian Slater being anything, then I guess watch it. It's You could watch a worse movie, I suppose. You, thank you so much for watching my review of Freelance. I just, again, I'm sorry that I don't get more specific, but it's just... It's just a movie that exists, and it's not an enjoyable time. Not for me, anyway. Not Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully it's a better one. But goodbye, travelers. <laughs>